In 2021, actor Kim Sanho was at the center of a huge scandal that almost ended his career, but now he's back on top of the Korean entertainment industry. Here's how his dramatic fall from grace unfolded and how he was able to bounce back against all odds. Sanho was born in 1986 and began his career as a theater actor in 2009. After starring in several plays, he made his television debut in 2017 with the drama Good Manager. Over the following years, his popularity increased a lot and he became a household name thanks to his performances in series like 100 Days, My Prince, Startup, and Hometown Cha Cha Cha. However, the trajectory of his career completely changed in 2021 when he was involved in a massive controversy. The scandal exploded in October 2021 when an anonymous netizen uploaded a post on a Korean forum claiming to be the former girlfriend of an unnamed actor. According to the author of the post, she became pregnant with the actor's child, but he forced her to terminate the pregnancy prematurely, promising that he would marry her in return. Apparently, the actor in question, also claimed that he would have to pay around $760,000 in damages if he had a child, which turned out to be false. The netizen also said that she was put under a lot of pressure because of her boyfriend's popularity, and that she suffered from severe psychological and physical trauma after the procedure. The woman went on to expose her former boyfriend, revealing that he was always obsessed with money and success, and that he had no remorse for his actions. The netizen continued the post by saying that the actor broke up with her with a phone call after an entertainment site found out about their relationship. As soon as the post was uploaded, people started to speculate that Sun Ho was the actor in question. Some of his fans threatened to take legal action against those who spread rumors about Sun Ho, and many published messages of support for him, arguing that all the accusations were false. So his fans were completely shocked when just a couple of days later, Sun Ho released an apology letter and admitted that the post was indeed talking about him. In his statement, he confirmed that he had a relationship with the person who accused him and added, I hurt this person due to my incompetence and lack of consideration. However, Sun Ho didn't directly address the allegations that he forced his girlfriend to terminate her pregnancy. Sun Ho's ex-girlfriend then returned to the online forum and apologized for what she described as unintentionally causing damage to many people. She claimed that she didn't want to see Sun Ho's career crumble and that the entire issue was just a huge misunderstanding that they were able to solve in private. Finally, she deleted her original post. Despite this, the damage was already done. Immediately after the scandal exploded, many advertisers, such as Domino's Pizza Korea and Canon Korea, began to take down all the videos featuring Sun Ho, and he lost many endorsement deals. One brand representative claimed that he handled the controversy in an unprofessional and immature way, refusing to answer and to explain his actions. Another representative called Sun Ho unreliable, adding that it would be difficult for him to rebuild trust with any brand. He was also removed and edited out of the already filmed footage of the variety show he was starring in, Two Days and One Night season four, and he was kicked out from various other projects, including two movies. Many netizens were enraged at him, with some saying that Sun Ho ruined his good image and everyone felt sorry for his former girlfriend. Nevertheless, some fans decided to remain by his side anyway, arguing that he was still a good person who just happened to make a mistake. While he still had many fans, most people thought that this scandal would be the end of Sun Ho's career, or at least that it would be very hard for him to return to his previous position as one of the top actors in Korean entertainment. However, things started to change when more details about the relationship between Sun Ho and his ex-girlfriend emerged over the following weeks, as some friends of the former couple commented about the controversy. The author of the post that exposed Sun Ho was revealed to be an influencer and former weathercaster named Choi Young Ah, who started to date Sun Ho in March 2020 and had been married to another man previously. According to some leaked messages, the couple had a troubled relationship marked by fights and misunderstandings, and at one point, they almost broke up. Not long after, in July 2020, Young Ah found out that she was pregnant, and according to a close friend of the pair, they both agreed to terminate the pregnancy. One acquaintance of the couple said that Sun Ho was very supportive after the procedure and introduced Young Ah to his family, planning to marry her as promised. According to another friend, Young Ah often took money from Sun Ho to buy expensive items for herself, and also checked the texts and DMs on her boyfriend's phone. Overall, Young Ah allegedly kept causing a lot of 
problems for Sun Ho, and in the end, the couple broke up in May 2021. All this new information raised a lot of questions about the validity of Young Ah's allegations. Soon afterward, a Korean YouTuber uploaded a video that included what was apparently a voice recording of Young Ah's ex-husband. He revealed that Young Ah kept asking for money during the divorce trial but used it to get plastic surgery, and added that her family occupied the house the couple used to live in. After all these reports were published, public opinion on the scandal completely changed. Some advertisers began to repost the content featuring Sun Ho, and the e-commerce platform 11 Street even generated $168 million in sales after the actor returned to their ads. Fans were very supportive of him after the new information about the scandal was revealed, as he gained 600,000 followers on Instagram in the span of a few days and even won two popularity awards at the 2021 Asia Artist Awards in December. However, not everyone was happy about Sun Ho's quick recovery, and some people were still uncomfortable seeing him in advertisements. Just a few weeks after the scandal exploded, Sun Ho announced that he would resume his activities in the entertainment world, and was then confirmed as a leading actor in the movie The Child. The production company behind the film had already cast him before the scandal, and they released a statement saying that they decided to include Sun Ho anyway because it was difficult to find a replacement and filming was about to start. Nevertheless, this proved once again that Sun Ho was already recovering from the controversy. In fact, it was almost like the scandal never happened at all and fans excitedly went to greet Sun Ho at the airport after he returned from filming The Child. When the film was released in 2023, he talked about his controversy and his return to entertainment, sharing his feelings about the issue. He said that he was very grateful to the director and the production team for having faith in him, but also added that he felt sorry for causing trouble. Sun Ho was also scared that his appearance in the movie would be too controversial and said, I felt sorry because I thought people around me will have a hard time and the film will be negatively affected. He also shared that he still hadn't completely recovered from the scandal but was taking every opportunity to become a better actor and improve himself. In the end, the movie was a success and Sun Ho received a lot of praise for his performance, which also earned him various awards, including the prize for Best New Actor at the 2023 Daejeong Film Awards. While he was filming The Child, he still kept a low profile for a while, slowly resuming his normal activities. He only returned to social media in May 2022, thanking fans for their birthday wishes. Later that year, Sun Ho also made his return to theater, starring in the play Touching the Void. Not only was his participation in the play not controversial at all, but he was even prominently featured in the promotional poster, and fans were extremely happy to see him back in an acting role. He thanked the people who always supported him by holding his first ever fan meeting in December 2022, selling out a venue filled with cheering fans. A few months later, he also held his first fan meeting outside Korea when he held a solo event in Manila as an ambassador for Filipino clothing brand Bench. He began to participate in more and more projects throughout 2023, and now it looks like he's back full time. In March of this year, he starred alongside Moon Ga Young in the music video for the song Falling Slowly by Big Bang's Day Song. Around the same time, Sun Ho finally returned to variety programs after three years, appearing as a guest in Mukbo Brothers season two. While fans have been very supportive of Sun Ho after the truth about his controversy was revealed, he still wasn't immune to criticism. This past February, he appeared on a YouTube show and avoided mentioning his past scandal, but revealed that the actor Nam Ju Hyuk supported him a lot when he needed help the most. He then praised Ju Hyuk for hugging him and being kind to him during that time. This didn't sit well with some netizens who pointed out that Ju Hyuk was at the center of a controversy himself, as he was accused of mistreating a schoolmate when he was younger. He was later cleared of all the allegations, but some people still didn't like the idea of seeing him together with Sun Ho. Despite this, 2024 has been quite a successful year for Sun Ho so far. He got several new endorsement deals and appeared in his first Disney Plus series, The Tyrant. Sun Ho revealed that he was very nervous when this drama came out, but he was relieved when he saw that the reviews were mostly positive. With The Tyrant, Sun Ho also reunited with Park Hoon Jong, the director of The Child. The actor thanked Hoon Jong for having a lot of faith in him, adding, he's not just a great director to me, he's like a brother. The success of The Tyrant was another important step for the actor, and now it looks like advertisers and producers have a lot of faith in Sun Ho and his popularity, as he's being cast in several new projects. In fact, various dramas are already in Sun Ho's future. Next year, he will make a special appearance in the upcoming Netflix 
Netflix series, When Life Gives You Tangerines, which is set to have a cast of famous names, including IU and Park Bo Gum. In 2025, Sun Ho will also be the male lead in the romance drama, Can This Love Be Translated, which is written by Hong Jong-un and Hong Miran, two of the top screenwriters in the Korean entertainment industry, who previously worked on huge successes such as Hotel Del Luna, Alchemy of Souls, and My Girlfriend is a Gumiho. This series, produced by Netflix, will mark Sun Ho's return to a leading role in a romantic drama for the first time since 2021. And this isn't all, as just a few weeks ago, it was reported that Sun Ho has been offered the leading role in the upcoming series Hypnosis. If he accepts, this would mean that he will be reuniting with the female lead of the series, Bae Suzy, who starred alongside Sun Ho back in 2020 in the drama startup. However, many fans weren't exactly thrilled with this news, and Sun Ho's potential participation in the drama has already divided opinions. Some can't wait to see the pair together once again after many years, but other netizens are angry and have brought up various past stories and allegations about the actor. This anger towards Sun Ho is partly fueled by a series of incidents that happened when Startup was airing. Back then, many fans of Sun Ho criticized and even harassed Suzy, so some netizens believe that these issues could happen once again if they appear together in another drama. We still don't know if Sun Ho will accept the leading role in Hypnosis, but with all the new projects he's been offered, it looks like his career is on the rise again.